when we talk of capsicum farming, what should come to your mind is fruit production. Or that is the thing that we talk about, fruit production. Because every time I have a conversation or I have a training with farmers, the first question they usually ask me is, how is the market? It's not the, the, the market for the seeds, it's not the market for the leaves, it's not the market for the stem, it's not the market for the fertilizers. It's the market for the fruits. So that is the bottom line. That is the point of discussion, the fruit. And now the question comes in, how do we get this fruit? How do we maneuver in order to have as much fruit as, as possible? There are so many factors that you as a farmer need to adhere to for you to succeed in capsicum farming. And these factors lies behind the plant itself. And these factors are not the land, the capital, uh, water, everything. Let's say we've all observed all these things. We have a good land, we have enough water, we've chosen uh, the best variety, but now we want to push for production. Which are these things that we need to consider all? Which are these things that we need to do? And these are the things that you need to look at. One, you need to look at um, the irrigation. Yes, we talk of water. You need to look at the irrigation. What is in the irrigation? You need to look at the schedule. How often are your capsicum supposed to be irrigated? Because the more you dray with irrigation, the more you dray with fruit production. And remember, our main goal is fruit production. The second thing is the pest control. The pests are the biggest enemy. Um, when you fail to control the pest, you start fighting what is or what will give you fruits. Uh, the next thing is the disease control. They go hand in hand with the pest control. You fail to control the pest and the disease, you are done. You are not going to get the, uh, the fruit. The last but not the least and the most important point, and this is the point we are going to expound more in our today's discussion, is the nutrition. The nutrition is the thing that you need to observe. Uh, to observe. And the nutrition, you need to observe it at different stages. From planting to uh, vegetative stage to uh, flower setting to uh, fruit setting to continuation of vegetation continuation, flower setting continuation, um, fruit setting continuation, and fruit development continuation for you to be always in the market on weekly basis, if not on daily basis. So those are the things that you need to look at as a farmer. Um, from when the crop is young, it means different approach when it comes to irrigation, when it comes to pest control, when it comes to disease control, when it comes to nutrition. At starting point, we need to minimize water to prevent disease attacks. The most common disease is dumping off, which is brought in by the cold condition and the fungal in infection in the soil. And now there, that is the main disease that you control if you fail to control disease at that point you kill all your crops or you lose quite a good number of your crops which now when you lose one crop it eliminates you from the business uh because if this crop was to give you uh five kgs now you're minus five kgs of what would you would have taken to the market from there we come now to the vegetative stage which is very key stage and now this stage again we come and control the main enemies and the main enemies the pest the disease and the nutrition the disease at this stage we control the podal mildew podal mildew usually attacks the leaves the, this is what you, it usually attacks if it kills your leaves your leaves are the the generators of or the pushes for the production of flowers and for the production of leaves because this is where the food is stored. Remember the, the biology in your school, the photosynthesis. 
it produces what? It produces sugar. The sugar does what? Did that and that and that. I'm not going to take you back to your biology class, but that is what happens. So the leaves are very important. Control the disease, the podium mildew and the down mildew. Um, in our next class, I'll show you how to control them. Then, uh, from, from that point, the nutrition. At this point, the nutrition is very important. That's why I told you it's our main point of discussion. Now, which fat, we need fertilizers. Remember, we did our first fertilizer, which was planting at planting. It <coughs> was a planting fertilizer at planting point. Now, we need another fertilizer to increase the vegetation. Once we increase the vegetation, we need another fertilizer to increase flower formation and flower production. So, we need a nitrogenous fertilizer. In most cases, I go with an NPK with a, a standard fertilizer like a 23-23 at this stage. Then I come up with a, a calcium boron fertilizer that induces the flower, maintains the flower, and makes it uh, to a fruit. Then we come with the, with, the, with, the, with the zinc also. We need a boron zinc foliar. This one I usually go with the foliar. Boron zinc foliar, which is very, very, very important. This boron zinc foliar will now enable you or lead you to production of many flowers as possible to reduction of abortion of flowers and maintaining uh, or converting the flower into a fruit you see so that is the stage that we are in at the moment and that is our point of discussion uh for today so like i told you at this point we need as many flowers as possible as you can see there are flower buds that has, have started coming out. These are the flower buds that has, have started coming out. So we need to protect these at all cost by making sure that the, the leaves are disease-free. Uh, you can see them, they are disease-free. Then making sure that uh, the nutritional, uh, the nutrient is enough. Then uh, on top of that, making sure that we maintain, we, we, we control the pest that usually attack uh, this young flower and in most cases it's the drips that attack this young flower and it end up dropping so we maintain we control the pests that attack this flower we control the disease that may attack the new bud and we make sure this flower doesn't fall that's why we are introducing nutrition of calcium boron zinc to make sure that we maintain the flower and it grows or we convert it into a fruit because the fruit is our main business and the fruit is what has brought us here. We must produce as many fruit as possible. This is just the continuation of our classes and we are here. I'll continue sharing more and more. Um, we love a, 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 a discussion on the diseases. This was just a, a, um, just a review of what is supposed to be done. Uh, and I hope you've learned something from us to, to this discussion. If this is your first time that you're watching me, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, you can be a member of this YouTube channel. For you becoming a member of this channel, you support this channel and everything good that happens here. Bye.